episode of Ignatian Waves, a weekly news bulletin radiating from XCTI campus of St. Xavier's College of Management and Technology, Patna. I'm Soumya Evita from the Department of Mass Communication. Here are the top stories of the week. Unidentified miscreants pelted stone at the newly launched Vande Bharat Express on the North Bengal's Malad district on the second day of the train's journey, after it was inaugurated by the Prime Minister on the 30th of December. Even though no passengers were injured, the glass of the door of a coach number C-13 was shattered because of the impact. Railway authorities have started a probe and have registered a case against unidentified persons under Section 154 of the Railway Act. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on Tuesday inaugurated 28 vital projects, mostly along the border with China, from a strategic bridge in Arunachal Pradesh. These 12 projects are in the Union territories of Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir, 5 in Arunachal Pradesh and 3 in Sikkim, Punjab and Uttarakhand, and 2 in Rajasthan. These were completed by the Border Road Organization at a cost of Rs. 724 crores. China is experiencing a surge in COVID-related cases after years of hardline containment. Restrictions were removed last month. A growing number of countries are worried about lack of data and transparency surrounding China's outbreak. Beijing has admitted the scale of outbreak which has become impossible to track the following end of mandatory mass testing last month. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak will pledge to make all pupils in English schools learn some form of maths till the age of 18. Sunak has put education reforms at the centre of his domestic policy agenda as he tries to answer calls from his own lawmakers for more positive vision for the UK. The Prime Minister will use his first set piece, Speech of the Year, to spell out his priorities for 2023 and unveil his ambitions for a better future for Britain, according to the statement from his office. The result for the post of mayor and the deputy mayor of Patna Municipal Corporation was declared. Sita Sahu has once again won the post of mayor in Patna Municipal Corporation election. She gained a total number of 51,484 votes and defeated her rival, Mazhavi, by a margin of 18,529 votes. The first phase of voting was concluded peacefully, but the second phase witnessed some stray incidents of violence. for some campus news. The placement cell of St. Xavier's College of Management and Technology, Patna, organized a seminar on the topic Know Thyself, an interdisciplinary approach to knowing oneself and thinking out of the box. On the 5th of January, 2023, the seminar was held for the third year students of the following departments, BBA, BCA, and BBE. We express our deepest condolence at the demise of Rupesh Raj from the department of BBA1. We pray for the repose of the soul and bereaved his family members. You have been watching Ignatian Waves with Soumya Evita, camera person Prakash Chandra with the editor Ankit Raj. See you in the next episode.